In this video, I will log into the members area and show you exactly how it works. Put in your email, password, here we go. The charts are loading. OK, we see the first three charts of the best trending currency pairs and time frames. The trend direction, pair and time frame, and the trend drawdown. The drawdown is very low. The trend looks very nice. This blue line is the maximum drawdown. This is how the best trend is determined. No indicators, but pure price action. You can read more about this method in the ebook you will get right after you subscribe. In the next charts, the drawdown is a little higher. If you want to see more charts, click on Settings. Let's choose 20 charts. Save settings for the next time you log in. Go back into Trends, and as we scroll down, the drawdown becomes higher, but it might still be good for trend following. The first chart is always the best one. If you click on More in this corner, you'll see a quick overview of the same pair on the other time frames. In this case, most of the arrows are showing upward movement, which is a good confirmation. So let's go back into Settings. And here you can select only particular currency pairs or deselect pairs you do not want to trade or that are not in your trading platform. You can also deselect time frames, for example, the lowest time frames. You can set up alerts when the trend drawdown falls below, let's say, 15%. Then click Save. And the audible alert will let you know when the lowest drawdown on any chart falls below 15%. Another approach used by more conservative traders is to check the charts just once or twice a day and simply make a trading decision. Very easy. Now let's look into patterns. And what you see are, believe it or not, the automatically recognized patterns. Here's the pair and the time frame and the pattern name. Flag, triangle, falling wedge, so on. Notice that there are often more than two touching pairs on the trend line. This is because the recognition algorithm is very good. When the price breaks through the trend line, it's likely to continue in the same direction. So you can enter the orders just above or below the trend line depending on the overall trend. These are emerging patterns. And here's something special. The history of completed patterns updated in real time. They are actually confirmed patterns because the price has already broken through the trend line. The problem with emerging patterns is that they can change several times or the price will not break through the trend line. Unlike emerging patterns, completed patterns can be accepted as trading signals. For example, let's click on the link. And here we see the flag pattern. The price has broken through the trend line and it's likely to continue moving this way, often with some pullback. You can set up alerts in the settings. Check the box near Alert when new completed pattern appears and click Save. And when the new pattern is confirmed with a breakout, you will be notified by the audible alert. Another approach is to check the charts just once or twice a day. Look in the history of the higher time frames and you see that trend lines work incredibly well.